Thank you, Mr Chair. Today we're discussing the land transport road safety and other matters amendment bill and I want to um, first of all just acknowledge and, um, and say how fortunate we are that to have a minister that's actually got um, a desire to progress land sa uh, road safety in New Zealand and actually, and actually um, making a difference on the roads of New Zealand, um, not only in building good roads but also in the rules and regulations around how we use those roads. And this is an opportunity that this parliament has not taken for a decade um, to see a minister actually put some decent rules in place that actually make some difference. And the Labor Party come to this House here tonight and they spout on about, oh, we should be doing this, that, the other thing, when they had their chance and never did it. And if you look at what they're saying, it doesn't actually ring true. Because if you look at the fundamental policies of what this legislation is about, you will understand why this legislation is framed in the way it is. And the legislation has fundamental policies of trying to look at those at-risk drivers and then trying to look at the youth that are part of that at-risk group. If you look at at-risk drivers, you know, the at-risk drivers in the alcohol area are those that are highly above the, um, the limit of 0.08. Those are the real at-risk drivers because they put other drivers on our roads at risk. And that's what the Minister talked about when they looked at the British experience. They focused on where the real danger was, not where the political expediency of what the Labor Party is trying to promote here today is. And the youth drivers are a big part of that as well. If you look at what we're doing, it's a two-pronged approach when we're looking at youth with that driving age. And by talking about the driving age, we are actually looking at what we can do for young people to make them safer on the roads. And I would like to congratulate the Green Party, a party that promotes itself on supporting young people, as actually seeing that this is in the best interest of young people to see to have that age and also to these rules around the, the drink driving limit of young people um, as encapsulated in the legislation. Because there are two parts to how we are saving young people on the roads through this legislation. The first is in the age. By moving that age, that gives the young people a chance to survive on our roads. And secondly, by reducing the alcohol limits that young people can have to essentially a zero limit, um, that saves more young lives on New Zealand roads. And that is the important part of this legislation. This will actually lead to the saving of young people's lives in New Zealand on our roads. And that's something that we should be very, very mindful of. We get the opposition talking about the Australian approach. They say, oh, they've dropped it to 0 0.05. Well, look at their driving age. You wouldn't even be driving at 16 in Australia. You know, the time you look at their uh, graduated system, you're probably getting up to 17 and a half, 18 before you actually drive in Australia. So if you wanted to have that approach in Australia, you've got to look at the other tests that they do there and compare apples with apples, not comparing one part against the other and not taking into account the fullness of their system as one of the previous Labor speakers had done. This legislation is good legislation. It is there for road safety purposes. It is practical legislation which enables us to look at what other options there may be in the future. But it's legislation that will work. It's legislation that we can see that will make a big difference in saving our young people on the li our lives on the road and also looking at those high-risk drivers that we need to be taking into account in the future. This is good legislation. It's for road safety. It's to save lives. And I want to congratulate the Minister on passing it through this House. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'll call the whistle. Wall.